religion is not a good religion. They left Africa and left us with night crimes. Because we used to gather for our parties without without uh, causing troubles to others. But today we have nightclubs that can be noisy in the middle of the town, next to your house, which was not there. Uh, there is this, we don't really talk about it, it's not allowed to talk, but I'm talking because we are inside this bar. There's this marriage of single sex. Getting married to multiple wives is a sin. But getting married to your brother, a boy or a girl, is human rights. Yeah, these people are crazy, right? Does it make sense? No, man, no sense. If you get to one, two wives, even prophet in the Bible did it to have one more than one wife, it's a sin. But if you get married, a gay or a lesbian is a human right. Is that in here? It's not that here too. Is it like that here? Here it's undercover. Undercover, it's not out loud, man. <laughs> here, if the people came to know such a thing, you will not have a time, or you will not have a chance to come out of your house. Yes. <laughs> two things. They can two things happen, they will kill you, or they will isolate you. I told people that people at the beach are telling folks that. That's why we don't talk about it. Just don't do it. <laughs> because for our beliefs is number one sin. I grown up in a village. If it happens like you have fallen in love with somebody's wife, and it's been exposed, you're in big trouble. Wow, there you go, there you go. There you go. The, the elders will ask you, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why don't you get married get your, to another woman? Yeah, get your own woman, man. <laughs> you have your own woman and then your neighbor wife, maybe he takes good care of her. And as you know, you are all Africans, you know, you have to take good care of your wife. She has to have a good body. So, ma. You, somebody breaks in then that's a big trouble but today in our modern life there's no restriction like that anymore so that's why our, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm very lucky but I'm saying that it's good that people are remembering where they are from people are like talking of their old days and actually we have almost lost our identity because we move from village to town and we leave everything that belongs to us in the village and come and adopt what is here. Anyway, that's why I and Eugene, we was very happy when we hear that Africa for Africans is coming this way. That will, that will um, trigger the mind of people that there is where it was that's where we want to go to investing in africa if you listen to your fellow americans white americans will say it's going to be very risky they will tell you it's dangerous but i'm telling you just down the hill here we have a big big community of americans wow. Like black, like, ah, yeah. like black people from America? Uh, no, no, white Americans. Oh. Uh, the ones who will tell you it's very dangerous. Yes. Wow. Uh, the white one? people from America moving here? We have a lot of them. What? Yeah. They always trying to beat us to the punch, man. <laughs> most, of the, most of the nice beaches in Zanzibar are owned by the Europeans. I, know, I noticed that um, in... Most uh, of the big, very fertile lands that's... Anyway. It's good that they are investing here. They employ our people. They, by the laws, they cannot do anything bad. But but you want to see more black ownership. That's, that's what. That's my point. Ultimately. So for you to come and invest back in Africa, it will make a big difference. Let me tell you. We need to build up. We need to make a good chain. You need. It. You 
you know that the toy chain? Yeah, yeah. It's a pieces of round metal. But if you miss one, it's gone. Exactly. But for Africans, we need to cook the chain as much as we can for us to grow, for us to be somewhere and tell our young generation this is how we need to live. The same way that the Europeans are doing. They come here, they invest here, but they make sure the baby was born their own child or their own daughter, their own son knows the German way of life, the French way of life, British way of life, American way of life. Although they are here, they, they speak Israeli, they do everything. And in Arusha we have Indian community and European community. They will drive from the areas called Kikatiti where they are. It's about 50 kilometers from there to the other side of Arusha town to go and eat in an American restaurant. Not because where they're coming from there's no food. But they go there because they're going to support their fellow Americans. So for like you dealing with Eugene, my, my young brother, it's good because you're supporting your fellow Af Ameri uh, African. Absolutely, that's the only way to do it. I, I worked in the tourism industry as a guide. I worked with Germans, I worked with lots of Germans and Americans. If I'm traveling as a tour director, I have a lot of responsibilities. I have a pile of papers. And then they will normally bring in who is called study leader. The study leader knows nothing about this country. But all the Americans, the white Americans, will listen to him. Just because... <laughs> Uh, it's a st don't take it serious. It's my story. Don't take it serious because it's just a song. I was traveling with Americans, 18 of them, in a bus like this. And then, you know, things cannot be smooth all the time. And just, I heard one, one, one American, white American, black idiot. Wow. Why are we here? Wow. And I just laughed and I said, we are here because we are in safari. Why are we not leaving? Cool down. TIA, this is Africa. I have fed him to the lions. And the bus was totally quiet. All other Americans just hold up their hands and say, what Mali is going to do? So I keep on telling the story and then finally I commanded the driver to start driving and then we went to the hotel and check everybody in and I don't know what happened. Next day morning he came to me and said, I'm sorry, I was tired and then I was out of my And they just say, people talk, people say what fills their hearts. What is in your heart is what you speak it out. So I've forgiven you and everything is fine. And why? He cannot shout to his fellow American who is the study leader and who is the one who asked me to stop while he's talking to everyone and I just add some few words in it because he doesn't know this country instead of shouting to his study leader who is his fellow American he shouted to me because I don't mean anything to him so for yeah, us that's how they treat us yeah so serious. for us let's cook up the chain sometimes one piece of the chain will get tired on the way Try to hold it and hook yours. Somebody will get tired of the move. I wish some days you can come in number of buses, not one bus, to visit Africa. Because by that way you bring back more of the heritage and energy to, to, to the country, to the countries in Africa. I'm sure, I'm very positive, I was saying yesterday, people are migrating from Europe to here and from here to Europe. These people will get intermarriages and then the world will not know who are you, where are you from. First, we will all be speaking maybe one language. Secondly, we don't have, there will not be background, but that will take another maybe two, three, four million years from wow. us. So as we are existing, we need to, to work it uh, in a better way, in a good way. In Tanzania, we're living together with 
all the people from all over the world. And the only way we don't get into conflict with we talk of our nationality. We talk of our region, not tribe or wealthiness. Being wealthy does not make any sense to me if you're wealthy. If the wealthy family is with my son in the same school, does not make any difference because we know that you're wealthy and you cannot be wealthy without the poor. There's no poor without the wealthy. Yeah? Okay, we'll stop for just a minute to add more drinking water. We don't want to... Sorry? So we don't want to get into the park and miss drinking water. By the way, if you want a bottle of water, we have water up here.